What's going on folks, SAP Dude here, welcome to another video. We are again in Texas Workshop after our successful implementation of Asset Management Module and today we will talk about Inspection Checklist. So new cool feature which is available for in SAP S4 HANA 2021 onwards. All right, let's go to the to the main building of this plant and I will explain you in more details what we are talking about today. So this is something that came uh, as a requirement from the client and we will use this business case as an example to show you yeah, what is inspection checklist, how to use it in the system and so on. All right, we are inside and first we will start with the definition of inspection. So inspection is a regular activity which you perform every, let's say, week, month, it can be even every day, to check the current state of your asset or some kind of other object, whatever it is. Yeah? In real life, it can be, I don't know, every week I check the oil level in my uh, motorcycle, let's say, right? So it's up to you what kind of inspection you perform. It, what important is that you do it every in regular on regular basis and the activities are always the same. And for Texas Workshop, we will do such inspection as well. They have some business case that they want to implement it in, in SAP and perform it in a digital world. So first of all, I will show you the assets which are relevant in Texas Workshop for such inspection. So first, we start with this welder. Every month I want to inspect if the nozzle, so this part of the of welder, is in appropriate condition. And what does it mean? Appropriate condition for this object means if it has some, I don't know, cracks, if it's if the color has changed, it basically means if we got to repair it, if it's possible, or we just replace this part. Why? Because of course we care about our people, about their protection, and it's really important to be preventive and foresee that something can happen in the future. So the results of such inspection is, in this case, if the condition of this part is okay or not okay. Of course, we could be more specific. We could record some measurements like what is the exact color, if the diameter has changed and so on. So it's up to us how detailed the inspection is going to be. In this case, for this welder, we are we have simple case. The result is okay or not okay. But when it comes to measurements, we have another case. So I will move to the right side. And here we got a wheel balancer. So first of all, before I use it or explain how it works and so on, uh, we will move to this, we will use this tire changer. So first we will install a tire on a rim. Uh, so in this case, I go to the tire changer and I go to install. I got this rim and I will install this tire. And then we will use the wheel balancer. And I will tell you what I'm going to do next. So we'll take it. And okay, the wheel balancer now is going to work. Uh, so we have to do some adjustments. To make the to balance the wheel properly. All right, and let's assume that this activity performs some kind of vibrations in this object for this asset that the baseline of the asset of the wheel balancer can change, let's say every month or every three months. And we want to make sure that we correct it, that we calibrate it every time. So we want to in perform regular inspections of these measurements as well. So we want to make sure that the coordinates of this baseline don't change. So, and if they change, we make some corrections. So SAP should help us to trigger some uh, calibration work orders and so on. Yeah. So this is what I mean. So as the result, this in this case will be some measurements in the system, not like it was for the, the welder that we had okay, not okay, and that was all. In this case, we will have clear measurements in the system and 
SAP will generate something if they don't cover our baseline or our some kind of deviation. All right. So yeah, inspection is not a big deal. It can be really simple. Like for instance, for this welder, we got a, just a not okay, okay result or decision and that's all. Or it can be more, um, let's say, I don't know, complex. We record some measurements and then system calculates if it's uh, if it complies with our standards or not. And if not, it triggers some kind of activity for us. And now we will move to some slide. I will show you the business process, um, how it looks like, and then we will move to the system. All right, let's let's roll. The inspection checklist business process is as follows. First, we start with the roles. So we got maintenance planner, then maintenance technician, then we got maintenance supervisor, and then local controller. Of course, it may differ a bit in your case, in your company or your client side. No worries. This is just a, yeah, just an overview, just a yeah, rough business process, which I prepare for this purpose. So let's start with the first step. And the first step is to create inspection maintenance plan. This is what maintenance planner does, right? Then, of course, we have to schedule the inspection maintenance plan. And then the third step is done by maintenance technician. He or she starts inspection maintenance work physically. And then as a fourth step, they can record inspection results. So basically they use the checklist to record the, all these results in the system. Yeah. And the fifth step is also done by maintenance technician. Here we got to confirm maintenance work. By confirm, you already know from my previous video what we got to do, yeah? We have to enter, for instance, how much time we spend for this specific activity. We also can, yeah, use, uh, record this purpose that we used, right? For inspection, in most of the cases, you, you just inspect. So you spend the time, so you record the time, but you don't use uh, spare parts, yeah, for inspection, yeah? That makes sense. And the sixth step is to be done by maintenance supervisor. It can be also maintenance planner. He or she has to review and then close the work order. So to first to check if this all the costs generated are, are correct or the results are fine. And then as the, at the end, we have this cost settlement. Yeah? So the order is settled and the cost is sent against uh, the asset, whether it's an equipment or functional location. And yeah, that was all when it comes to this quick business process overview. Now let's jump to SAP. We are in the system and what I will actually do, I will shorten this process to the very minimum. So instead of creating maintenance plan and so on, all the planning, I will just create a simple work order. Why? Because I want to quickly show you how the checklists are generated, how it works. So yeah, let's do it that way. First of all, I have to select the order type, which is relevant for inspection checklist. And in my case, it will be order type ZPM7. In standard SAP, you will have this one, PM07. All right, let's select it. Now I have to select the technical object. And what do you think? Do I have to, for instance, go here to equipment and select welder and then create another order for wheel balancer? Not really. I will show you how to do it right now. As you already know from the previous videos, the main whole of Texas Workshop is reflected in the system as functional location. So what we will do now, I will go to functional location field and enter TX01 because this is our top functional location. And I will click this icon on the right side. And we see we have two sub functional locations, car repair mechanical, car repair visual. And the main hall of Texas Workshop is actually this one, car repair mechanical. I expanded and here we divided in the previous videos the, this functional location into two sections, car repair, spare parts, repair. And actually the first one is where we have the welder, wheel balancer, we also have the car lift and other assets which are not reflected in the system yet. So what I do now, I just select the, this functional location, with car repair with all this equipment here. And don't worry, I know there are car lifts there and you might think, but we don't want checklists for this equipment. It won't work like this, no worries, I will show you everything in a second. 
Let's go inside. First I enter the description of this order. Let's say weekly inspection. Then I select the, let's say priority, medium. All right, I go down, that's all for this screen. Now what is crucial, I got to go to operations tab. And you see we have the first one which comes from the header of the order, but we actually won't need it. Now we need to import the operations which are relevant for the checklist. What does it mean relevant? There are many prerequisites which you have to meet and it's not only about configuration of the system. The preparation of master data is also very crucial and without it, this checklist functionality won't work. So what I did beforehand, I performed all these steps. So now I will just show you the result. If you want to know how to configure this functionality or how to prepare the master data, check out the description of this video. So now I will just import the already prepared task list for this work. To do it, I go to more and then I go to extras, task list selection, general task lists. Should operations be deleted? Exactly, we want to delete the first operation and import the relevant one. I accept it and voila. I have only one task list in this uh, plant. That's why it's automatically imported here. All right, now I will go to the tab called checklists because you may think, all right, so we got everything here, but actually it's empty. Why? I will show you right now. In, in this order, I selected the whole functional location, which holds not only these two equipment, but also two car lifts. All right. And all these assets can be reflected in the tab called objects. But actually, it's again empty, like the checklist tab. Why? The reason is simple. The order has to be released. So what I'm going to do now, I click this button, release. And you see something happen. So now the list is filled with all the objects which are relevant for this functional location. We start with the top functional location and then we go down to the first car lift, welder, rebalancer and the second car lift. If I go now to the checklist tab, something will happen as well. And voila, the checklists are generated. And as you see, we don't have checklists for every equipment from the object list. We have the checklist only for welder and wheel balancer. Why? Because I set up master data in such a way. Again, I won't discuss it in details in this video. Check out the description and you will find your answers there. I will now save the order and come back to it again. Okay, I did it quickly. We see that we have a number now. So yeah, we got the order. And what now? As a technician or a yeah, person who has to record the results like checking the welder, checking the wheel balancer. So when it comes to welder, just oh, simple OK to OK for wheel balancer to enter the dimensions, the, the, yeah, the measurements. What we got to do, we have to go inside into this inspection lot. So this is something that is, it's a pure quality management uh, master data. And this is like a bridge between uh, these two modules. What I got to do, I select the whole line and go to results. And now as a technician or a yeah, person who has to enter the records to the system, I got to click the, let's say the first line and click the button results. And actually here in this field, I can enter the result that something is okay or not okay when it comes to welder. And when it comes to wheel balancer, I enter the dimensions. and I know and I totally agree with you that this way of working is totally not user friendly, right? Because imagine that the technician has to do it by himself in the system. Let's say, let's be honest, it's impossible. So no worries. Actually, currently when I record this video, there is no Fiori app for this activity, but there is something different. There is a dedicated standard SAP mobile application, which has this functionality. I mean, to record, to enter the results of our inspection checklist. So what I'm going to do, I'm going back to the Texas workshop and I will show you how it works. Okay, we are in Texas workshop again. I already have a tablet in my hand, so I will stop somewhere here and show you an interesting thing, a cool thing from SAP. This is basically a new mobile app called 
SAP Service and Asset Manager. It's available for two platforms, iOS and Android, and my tablet is Android based. So yeah, let's open it. First of all, we will find and open the application and it's at the bottom of the screen, Service and Asset Manager. So I open it right now. And this is our dashboard. So we have a map, we have other things like high priority work orders, uh, other things, we have a list of equipment, notification and so on. Let's open the map. Actually, this is not a Texas Workshop map. It's the demo version of this application. So we don't have the data related to Texas here. For instance, here we got some work order, daily inspection. We can display the details or just zoom out and find other objects. For instance, here we got functional locations with this orange color. So what we will do now, we will do the checklist. So I go to the left menu, as you see, and I will find the checklist section. And here we have only two checklists to do, so I will select the first one. We got the details, and below we will see what we got to uh, inspect, like you see here, quantity, response time, and so on. To do it, we have to record the results. In GUI, it's in a not user-friendly way. Here, it's a totally different story. So what I got to do, I just click the button at the top right corner. And voila, we are inside. And now we have to just record what we inspected. So here we got all the inspection lots. Uh, for instance, here we got visual check, oh, not OK, OK. Mm, all right. So what we will do now, I just click the not OK and you see the valuation is already set as rejected because, uh, yeah, this is how it's set up in the backend. All right. Then we go to another one. Let's say I will skip this or yeah, let's enter the length as OK and it's green. Uh, all right. I just saved it and you see that we have two records already entered. You can configure the system in a way that you need all the results or in my case, I just only need two and I can save it. All right. And that was all. I will just put down my tablet, go back to, to work. And yeah, as you see, it was easy and really quick. And yeah, that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I do also hope that you understood the basics of checklists, inspection checklists in SAP. If you want to know more, again, check out the description of the video, subscribe to this channel, make sure you follow the socials, LinkedIn and so on. And yeah, see you in another one.